Guy Lafleur, the Barishnikov of the hockey rink, doing a disco album. But yes, Guy Lafleur, a man who really knows something about Saturday Night Fever, has a slick, beautifully packaged album of hockey instructions set to disco music. Montreal's fast and trendy crowd came out yesterday for the official unveiling of the album. And where else could you launch a disco hockey album but at Regine's, reportedly the pinnacle of local disco society? And people from the entertainment business, the recording industry, and sports turned out not so much to celebrate a record or a hockey player, but to celebrate a marketing force of some proportion. And the secret to balance is proper posture. Here's an exercise I learned from my father that helped me develop good balance. Okay, stand straight. Do you like disco music? I like it very much, but uh, I want to say something. I'm not a very good dancer. <laughs> it's hard to believe. <laughs> well, on the ice, maybe I am a good one, but not outside. The record was put together by some of Montreal's best producers and studio musicians at a cost of $100,000. That's a lot, but the record combines two of the most powerful trends in our society, sports and disco. And the producers expect to sell a minimum of 100,000 copies at $9.95 each. The record comes with a poster and a booklet. It's aimed at the Christmas market. It took two and a half years to negotiate the deal and five days to record Lafleur's soundtrack. I didn't know really what really will come, come out of it, but now I'm very proud and happy about it. This may be just the beginning for disco sports. And this year, when we watch Guy get down and score, it may take on a whole new meaning. Melvin McLeod, CBC News, Montreal.